Hello, Assalamualaikum, and greetings to all of you. Today, our beverage knowledge topic is chocolate. The learning contents for this beverage knowledge are Introduction to chocolate Processing of chocolate The variety of chocolate beverages Different format of chocolate And activity Firstly, let's look at the introduction to chocolate What is chocolate? Chocolate is made from cocoa which contains caffeine. The chocolate beverage is a combination of cocoa and sugar and also milk for serving. What is cocoa? Cocoa is a fruit which the ripe pods are cut open and emptied out. The beans are allowed to ferment and oxidize, which develops its peculiar flavor. They are then dried. At the factory, the beans are cleaned, roasted, crack to remove the needs and the ground to smooth liquid containing 55% fat. The fat is then pressed out to leave about 25% of the original and this resultant mess is ground into cocoa powder. Cocoa Origins What are the main countries producing cocoa? As you can see here, the main countries for using cocoa is Ghana, Nigeria, and South America. Now, let's go to the processing of chocolate. Cocoa making process. There are four steps in processing of chocolate which are fermentation, curing, roasting, and grinding and defatting. Now, let's go to the first process. Fermentation. During fermentation, the beans and mucilage are scooped out and piled in heaps in perforated wooden boxes for 3 to 12 days. The color of the beans changes from pale yellow to violet, violet to brown. Now, let's go to the second process, curing. This is the process where the beans are dried in the sun or in hot dryers. The color of the shell is dark brown. Now, let's go to the third process, roasting. Roasting develops the flavor and color. Roasted beans are passed through corrugated rollers to break their shell and separate the germ. The roasted, the whole, and the germ beans are called nibs. The color becomes dark brown on blending of the nibs. The last process of cocoa making process is grinding and defatting. During this process, the beans are cool and gently crushed. The roasted nibs are ground using stone mills to a fine paste or liquor. The heat produced causes the fat to melt. The melted fat plus suspended finely ground particles of cocoa are called cocoa mass or chocolate liquor or bitter chocolate. It is very rich in fat and cannot be used directly for the preparation of any beverage. Cocoa mass is filtered to separate a major part of cocoa butter, fat. The amount of fat left in pressed cake can be varied by conditions of pressing. The variety of chocolate beverages. These are divided into two categories, non-alcohol and alcohol. Let's go to the first one. Non-alcohol First, chocolate beverages can be served hot and cold. Example for hot is hot chocolate. How to prepare hot chocolate? The cocoa paste should be made with cold water first and then add boiling water or milk. 
It is better to boil the cocoa for a few minutes to gelatinize it. This gives body and flavor to the beverage and reduces the amount of sediment. There are two examples of cold, which is ice chocolate by using stir method and ice chocolate by using blended method. First, ice chocolate by using stir method. Make a hot chocolate with melted chocolate, caster sugar and milk. Cook it, whisking it at all the time. Allow it to cool completely and put in the ice and serve immediately. Example 2. Ice chocolate blended. The method of doing it is similar to ice chocolate stir method. The difference is put it in a blender with crushed ice. Mmm, yummy. Secondly, chocolate is a nourishing beverage that can be served hot or cold. These are the examples of chocolate beverages in the market. The first one is Bon Vita. Bon Vita is a mixture of milk, sugar, glucose, cocoa powder, dried milk, dried eggs, salt and flavoring. It can be blended together, cooked under a vacuum until brittle. Carefully broken up. The second example is Ovaltine. Ovaltine is made from barley, malt milk, cocoa powder, soya flour, eggs, and vitamin. Lastly, Milo. I believe that everyone familiar with Milo and Ovaltine. Milo is made from condensed milk and malt. Extract with cocoa powder, milk products, and added vitamins. Next, alcohol. Third, there are three types of chocolate based liqueurs. The first one is creme de cacao. This is a chocolate and vanilla bean based liqueur. This liqueur is available in both white and brown varieties. Second, cream liqueurs. This is a coffee and chocolate cream liqueurs are consumed by themselves and often used to fortify coffee. These liqueurs are composed of cream, a spirit and the main flavoring agent. The example of fortified coffee is Irish coffee. Godiva. This is a chocolate liqueur with varying options of white chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, mocha chocolate, and caramel milk chocolate. They are produced from the Rion Godiva chocolatier. Different format of chocolate. There are four different format of chocolate, which are powder, premix or instant, bar, and syrup. Let's go to the first one, powder. Powder is a plain cocoa powder to mix with water or milk to serve hot or cold. Premix or instant is a pre-prepared chocolate with water or milk and sugar. Bar Chocolate bar is to melt to prepare chocolate beverage. And lastly, syrup. Chocolate syrup to mix with other beverage components such as mocktail and spooty. Now, let's go to the activity. Let's do some work. Reproduce the chocolate knowledge template using Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Based on four formats of chocolate, find two famous chocolate brands available in the market. Save the document under e-learning chocolate knowledge, your full name, and submit to your lecturer through email. 
zyrina.lta at gmail.com This is the chocolate knowledge template. Note, please provide picture and information of the manufacturer. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.